So we have uh, seven cedar logs here that we're going to use the parbuckle method, getting up on the trailer and then bringing them to the mill. We have the first of, uh, of our cedar logs up on the mill here uh, and I didn't show this but the way I used to get the, mall, uh, the, the logs from the gooseneck trailer up onto the mill is a shortened down version of the ramps we use for parbuckle. Uh, it's just got the same bracket on the head that fits into the side of the gooseneck and then I just let them rest here and, uh, and, and then PB the logs into the mill. This particular mill is a mobile dimension made in Oregon. It has a top edger blade and a bottom edger blade and the main blade. So you can set that top edger blade to whatever size you want to cut, whether it's a 2x12 uh, or a 2x4. Bottom blade stays constant. The mill will cut uh, 4 inches by 12 inches uh, all day, but you can take out of one log a specific size beam once that's bigger than 4 by 12. So I'm going to fire it up and mill some wood. I won't be able to talk after that point because the mill's fairly loud with this old VW engine, but uh, hopefully you'll get a good idea what one of these old things can do. On this particular log, we're going to go for a one by six, but the first cut, being that there's a radius there, we're going to try to get a, a flat there and then maybe get a one by four out of it, and then we'll start our rows of one by six.